welcome back to Liz Sews. Today we're going to go over how to change a pattern that you already have fitting you from a regular style wire into a plunge style wire. In order to do this, the main alterations are going to be made to your cradle piece, which is your bridge and your outer frame. We're also going to be making changes to our upper cut piece as well, but this is for a little bit later. So here I have the Black Beauty bra and I have the bridge and the frame of this bra. Uh, it is intended to be used with a normal day style wire. So this is a day style wire and you can see that the, the bridge side is a little bit lower than the underarm side. But if I want to do something that has a little bit lower of a front, a more plunging style, I'm going to be using a plunge style wire. So if we compare the plunge to the day style wire, we can see that they are almost identical. Um, the plunge does splay out just a little bit more on the underarm edge, but I'm not really concerned about that. What I wanna look at is the difference between the heights up on the bridge. So in this case, I'm going to measure the difference between the two wires. So for this one, it is looks like three quarters of an inch difference. So my plunge wire is three quarters of an inch shorter than the wire that the bra is intended to use. So the first step is to measure three quarters of an inch down on your bridge, or however much that difference is for you. So I'm going to draw a little line right there. Uh, and then I'm just going to Continue that. So then we can cut off that. Because when I lined up my uh, plunge and my day style wire, they had the same height on the underarm edge, so the, the wires themselves end at the same height over here. I don't need to make any adjustments on the underarm edge of my pattern. So this is the only adjustment that I need to make to my pattern pieces here. Now the next thing I need to do is make some adjustments to my upper cut piece because um, you know, before the upper cut piece was attaching on the wire here and it's gonna, it was curving around and attaching to the wire over here. Well, all of this space is now missing. Um, so we need to lower this as well. And we can use the same measurements as we used previously. That is that we are eliminating three quarters of an inch. So I'll measure down three quarters of an inch from the top of the neckline here and I wanna see where that crosses with the seam allowance. So I always wanna make my changes to my seam allowance and not to the cut edge of the pattern piece. And then the last step to changing this is just connecting my underarm point, so at the very top of that point, to this cross cup where we had it intersect at three quarters of an inch down. So I'll connect. And I'm gonna connect this with a straight line because I still wanna be able to use lace fabric. So I need to make sure that I have a straight line that I can align with my lace. So I have something that looks like this. And then all we need to do is trim that pattern piece down. So you can see how we've shortened the wire line on the cradle. So if I put my plunge wire in here, should be able to fit in there with a plunge wire. And then the top cut piece, um, you, you know, on this one I can tell that my seam allowance here is supposed to connect with that little notch mark on the, on the bridge. And if I connect that, yep, we have a perfectly aligning. So it should go swoop down just a little bit taller or a little bit shorter into that center front and connect to the bridge. So this could be all that you have to do, but one more technique that I like to use with plunge wires is you can see how the bridge here looks a little bit wider than it did originally because when we cut it off, it was coming up 
taller and so it, it was narrowing towards the top. So even though this is following that same curvature as our original wire, this can look a little bit wide. So one thing that I like to do, which helps the overall aesthetic of a plunge bra, but also gives you a little bit more not so much cleavage, but it pushes you more towards your center front, is I'm going to draw a line that is perpendicular to the top edge. And I wanna draw it down the center. So in this case, we'd be looking right at where that stretch uh, line is. So I'm gonna draw a line there. And then I'm gonna cut my piece. So here we have the two pattern pieces when we cut them in half. And then all you need to do is maybe overlap them, let's say a quarter of an inch. And you get a much narrower bridge here. So it looks a lot cleaner, it looks a lot nicer, and it's going to sort of push everything more towards the center front if you want a little bit more push up cleavage. So that's a really easy cheat that we can do with these plunge style wires. But like I said, you don't necessarily have to narrow the bridge like this. You can certainly use it as in its full width like this. Either one works just fine. This one, for me, I just find a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to convert your pattern into a plunge wire, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.